Hi folks, here we are down Jimmy's unit. This is our little Christmas video. See you in a minute. Right, well I've just shot down to Jimmy's unit. It's not gonna really be no work done today, but we're gonna have a little look around, see what's outstanding, see what we've done throughout the year. Just have a little recap and uh, catch up on things that we've been doing and we've got outstanding. So let's have a look around. Right, so coming outside now, let's have a little look at this blue one that Jimmy repaired in the last car video, as you can see there. And as you can see there, there's the uh, color match on it there. Absolutely superb, that's the repair work done there. And uh, yeah, that'll be another good job done. Right, so I've just brought my little panels down here. This is what I've got to prepare now. It's the uh, little bit on the front mudguard there, obviously, and also the front mudguard itself. I've got the binnacle for the clocks to go be cleaned up. None of these are damaged at all, so literally all I'm gonna to have to do to these is just literally rub them down with some 500 paper. The only thing that's got a possible little mark on it is this uh, little side panel there, as you can see, and it's got them little scratches around the screw head there. But uh, apart from that, everything else looks fine. So it'll be a light sand down just to prep the surface. I'll go straight on with the black with this and then obviously the lacquer over the top. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. Jim is working back on the, um, the little Fiat again. As you can see, he's just preparing the underside of the bonnet. This is a brand new bonnet that's gone onto here. So obviously no paint is underneath it as well. So he's got to have to, again, prepare the underside of the bonnet to accept a coat of paint as well. So that's what he's doing at the moment now. As you can see, the little Fiat's looking very well. It's very dusty at the moment, but don't worry about that. Well, as you can see, this is that little Fiat we told you about, and you've probably seen in previous videos. Uh, it's being polished at the moment. Jimmy's just cutting back the surface and buffing it up. Right, so let's just have a little quick look around it. As you can see, the bumper covers are now on, coming all the way around. It's, it's, got, it's covered in compound at the moment, so Jimmy's polishing it at the moment, but uh, I'm sure you can get the uh, overall appearance now that the car looks absolutely lovely. And he's in the process of uh, buffing it up at the moment. I don't know if you can... You can probably just see he's still buffing it at the moment, but uh, it's got a lovely finish on it, and uh, you can probably tell that by the reflection there. And this is one of those, as I said to you, little Fiat 500s. And just to show you what these little modern cars are like inside. Now, although you can see the dashboard's actually been removed here, as you can see, but look at the size of these strengthening bars in here. And also, all the technology that are in modern cars and there's wires and computer cables and uh, sort of devices everywhere. You can see like, there's so much more than what used to be in cars. The safety devices and things like airbags and things that are built into all these cars now. And this is only a small car. So as you can see, that's why these cars now are really difficult to work on. They're really compacted and you know, not like they used to be to work on. But as I say, you're still working on it now. Let's have a little look, I don't think you can see the it finished there at all. Again, plenty more work to be done on this yet, as you know, but uh, absolutely looking great. That's the uh, door there. Things had a whole respray, as you know, and uh, yeah, I'm sure the owner's gonna be very pleased with the results. Another thing he's got in here at the moment is this old, um, looks like an 80s Audi by the looks of it. Not too sure what model it is. I don't think it's a Quattro, but yeah, very retro, this thing. You look inside something like this, very basic and none of the uh, safety padding or stuff that's in modern cars of nowadays. But, uh, you know, if, if something had electric windows or electric winders in in the 80s, like this one's got a motor in there, as you can see, for the, uh, the window winding mechanism, that would have been a high-tech addition to a, a, a car back, back in the day. And I think Jimmy's got some work to do on uh, each of the wheel arches. You can't see it, but underneath there, it's, it's a bit crusty. So uh, that's what he's gonna be doing on this car. That's why this one's in. And coming over to the uh, Trans Am now, we noticed before that this thing was uh, some sort of olive green in colour there when we took the spoiler off. And Jimmy done a little bit of sanding down on the roof here. And as you can see, going by the different layers, that's bare metal there. And it's had quite a few different coats of paint on it, as you can see. It looks like it's been painted its original colour. Uh, there's the original first one. That's like the base coat, primer, and the, the base coat there. So it's one, two, three, four, black line under there as well, 
and then five the top finish there so it looked like it looks like it's been green green black black glittery black that's what it looks like there so Jimmy's been sanding down that just to see what the uh, overall condition looks like as I say because you never know what's underneath so that's what that's looking like at the moment but as I say plenty more work to do and there's loads of preparation to do and uh, that's for obviously a different video. Right so back over to the trotter van I've actually done quite a bit of work on this within the last uh, couple of days uh, in other words I've sanded the whole body now it's been sanded down with 320 paper I've just had to fill in the last couple of little things on it one is this aerial point here which I didn't really want but I'd actually overlooked. So that's been filled in now. That's only going to take a little bit of sanding down. That's going to be fine. I've now filled in this bottom hinge now with the fiberglass. And again, that's got to be sanded down and, and that's going to be fine as well. I did empty all this out and it was totally empty. I cleaned all the inside out. So, I mean, I was hoping to get this primed before Christmas. That's not going to happen now. It's the 22nd today, so it's not going to happen now. He's got two other cars there, which he's still working on. So this is re basically ready for priming now. So I did give it a good wipe down. All the dust is now off it now. There's nothing on it at all. So all that I've got to do now is to go over it with a wax and grease remover, wheel it in the booth, and then it can be primed after it's been masked up. And what else I've got here, I've also got these uh, panels here, which again, have all been prepared. They've all been sanded down now to 800 grit for the uh, Piaggio moped. They've just got to be sprayed black with a rattle can paint. That's not a problem at all. And again, that can be done anytime. And then that's just finally got to be lacquered. That's the Piaggio, Piaggio moped painting uh, done. But between now and then, obviously I've got the engine casings to do. We've got some other engine parts to paint black as well. We've still got the Piaggio moped covered up over here, I'll show you. As you can probably see, sitting here, let's show you, it's, the light's a bit dark at the moment. But uh, yeah, you can't really see, can you, in this light? But uh, yeah, as you, as you can see there, it's uh, still lovely. And the paint now is lovely and hard, as you know. So that's just waiting refurbishment. So we've had a very busy year, as you know. This is Jimmy's first year. He just finished his first year in business. And loads and loads of cars have gone through this workshop. And hopefully you've seen a lot of them in and on the channel, which we've uh, tried to bring to you. We've done that Capri. He had that scimitar in, uh, which, as I say, the uh, one that he actually sprayed from red. He changed the colour from red to blue. So here's a little picture. This is the only picture we've got of it, uh, of because the bloke's still actually working on it who owns the car and he's changed the bonnet as you can probably see there for a black bonnet and that black bonnet is actually aeroplane carbon fibre so that's a proper uh, he, he works for the RAF and he was able to make that himself so that's what he's put on that I saw it can't be a bit nearer the picture but that's just the uh, images we've got of it and uh, hopefully when it's finished we can see it a lot better in the flesh if he does bring it down so that was that so we've done that little parody video on Wheel of Dealers the other, the other week or last week and uh, that wasn't planned. That was just literally uh, an under a minute video. We were just having a laugh and a joke down the unit one day because we had this behind us. And I was doing a bit, a bit of this and a bit of that. And Lee was doing the film and he said, oh, you sound like Mike Brewer. And that's when we thought, oh, we just filmed something quickly on the camera. We never intended to do it because someone said, oh, you should have put Ed's wig on. Someone should have had Ed's wig on and this, that, the other. But you, it went sort of, up until now, it's, it's had about 72,000 views in a week which is uh, unparalleled for my sort of video. So it just shows you that a silly little video like that can actually take off. And, but you, you get some real nasty people on there. They don't realise that you know, you're running a business and stuff like that and you, you know, you're just having a little bit of a laugh sort of thing. Some people take offence and some people loved it. But at the end of the day, if people write down not naughty comments and using swear words and stuff like that, they're just going to get deleted and they do. I don't, have, I don't tolerate none of that. This is a clean channel and I don't want any swearing and all that. There's no need for swearing. We're all common, we're all adults, civilised adults. You don't need to be swearing and stuff like that. So if I see anything like that in the comment section, you're just gonna get blocked from the channel full stop. Nothing, nothing wrong with constructive criticism. At the end of the day, it's just a laugh and a joke. That's all it was. I'm doing a bit of that now, I can't help it. But uh, no, I might do a few more of them little parodies. Lee likes a bit of comedy. I like doing a bit of comedy. So we might do a few more of them, throw a few more of them in down the line. Not being nasty or anything. It's just having a laugh with a, a certain situation. Anyway, so let's pop down the road, jump in and see Sharon. She's working with Tracy at the moment. We'll go and say quickly hello to her, and then we'll go back to the log cabin and have a little look at the things I've got outstanding. I'm not going to be doing anything, but I just think I'll show you what I've got outstanding. So I'll see you in a minute. Just come down to 
Tracy, my daughter's hairdresser salon. And who have you got working with you today, Tracy? Mummy Bear. Mummy Bear, Mummy, come say hello to everybody. She's got look. A cup too, Mum. Come and say hello, people. My two girls, look. <laughs> look, hey, look at my two girls, look. Mother and daughter. No, that's the other way around, isn't it? So what have you been doing? What have you, been, what have you, what have you had your mummy doing today, baby? I've been sweeping the floor, tidying up, making tea. Yeah, you're going to make me a lovely cup of tea now, aren't you? Right now. <coughs> oh, hey, sorry, don't do that, baby. So we're just doing a, an end of season video for everybody, just to let them know what we do. In and my lunch break. In your lunch break. <laughs> and your mum. You got her, where comes your lunch break and not hers? Oh, she was 15 there. minutes late. Was she? This morning, so she's having that deductive. <laughs> Unbelievable. No sugar for me, baby. She, she knows that, that after however many years. <laughs> right, so anyway, what's happening today? How many more clients you got today? Oh, loads. So she's not coming out to do my lunch then? No. She'll be over at about four. Unbelievable. Well, I'm going to show the people. And I'll spend dinner on the table when I walk in. You're not going to get that, baby. You might get a takeaway. Come on, stand in the middle, baby. Look. What's she? Hey? Cup tea, yeah. love. Cup tea. I don't like them triangle cups. Oh, it's tough, isn't it? Hey? Oh, no, I like that shape. That's no, good. because I don't think they're very stable. They start off wide and taper down enough. Like him! <laughs> <laughs> I used to taper down like that, shall? Yeah, shall. it's in customers about to Yeah, I used to taper down like that. Anyway, that's another story. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say now. Now it's a new No, then I find them unstable. You know, if you put them down, kids can knock them over. Oh, you don't do like cups. No, but more so with that because they're unbalanced. Oh, All the weight's at the go. top. You're unbalanced. Yeah, I was going to say. Cup. Anyway, we ain't going to stay here very long if I'm going to get insulted anyway. I'm getting that at home. My client will do as, as well. Where's your client now then? She's just pulled into the car park. Has she? Oh, well, we're going to have to go anyway, but... Uh, We'll go home. I'm going to have my cup of tea first. I've got to be quiet because the client's coming. When did you cut my hair as well, anyway? Look. Oh. If you turned up 15 minutes ago, she could have done it then. Yeah. Um, she's in trance because mum. Oh, damn, I've left the time machine at home. What's that one doing, Finn? I can't go back in time. Eh? That your humour. Although, we have time travelled. Here we go. We've all right, let's cut this short. No. Um, hair, I don't know. We've all time travelled because we've been to the 80s and we've been to the 70s and the 60s. We've been to the past. Oh, yeah. Else. All right, we haven't been to the future yet, but we're going there. Yeah? But we have time travel. Well, we'll it. Backwards. Um, anyway. I'll have a look in my book in a minute. Oh, don't believe it, Trace. I just what? put milk in your tea. I like coffee anyway. She's she got it all wrong. She's got it all wrong. She put milk in her tea, which she don't have milk. Robbie can have. And she wanted coffee. What's that all about? Who's your next client anyway? Robbie. Robbie's my next. Oh right, okay. Cup of tea made. Right, well, don't tell her that. Did she take sugar? No, I don't know actually. No, well don't put it in. She normally makes her drink when she Don't put it in. Alright then, we're going to leave you to it then and uh, I'm going to go home and... I'm going to tinker about in the log cabin, show them what I've got outstanding. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, it'll yeah. be a lot and it'll be the same old thing from six, seven months ago. No, it won't show and I'll be moving you know on. <laughs> I'm still waiting for more logs for Christmas I've Day. Been, but it's oh. not Christmas Day yet, baby. Have you done that yet? yet? Hey, they, no. should be get, they should be brought in, ready to like, leave round Sharon, I'll they, have the, they have the fire on, they did use all the logs, Monday. and the pair of them would say, yeah, we'll do some more logs, still waiting. Sharon, I've been ill. That's naughty, that. I've had a sit, we, we both had it. We was, both had the sickness, oh, bro. that was like for two days at two, least. Yeah, it was two days, Sharon. I've been asking you longer than Come two on, days baby, don't do it logs. in front of everybody. Come on, don't be horrible to me in front of everybody, baby. You haven't known that I don't ask you to do things, it doesn't get done. Don't do it. Don't do it, baby. Oh, look, look, your hands can't get around. It's too wide. <laughs> British Bulldog. <laughs> British Bulldog. Oh, yeah. He right. was a wrestler. Anyway, then. Anyway. Anyway. Round it off. Go on. Bye. Have a lovely Christmas. Yep. Yeah, yeah, Mummy. Merry Christmas. They can't see you sitting over there, shall sat down. Come in. If you mean it, if you're sincere, you'll come in and say tell Art to everybody. We want properly. you to sing. Oh, don't, she won't sing, I know. Don't start on <laughs> Come and say happy Christmas to everybody. I've been Cecilia. I wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Goodbye. And you oh, again? I just did it. Do it properly. Do, it, uh, do it, it close. Merry Christmas, you everybody. Yeah. Have a great day. Lovely New Year. And um, lots of health dinner. and happiness like to you me. all. All right, take pity on me Christmas Day feeding them all because none of them will get off their backsides and help or when they do, they get under your feet. Yeah. Me and Stacey are doing tea. Oh, because I told oh, you I refused to do tea oh. after doing dinner for you all. You didn't tell us. All you did was moan and moan and moan. Back to her. I get up early at the crack of dawn to do their dinner. Run round after them, hand and foot. And that's what I get. No, thank you. I don't know which one to... To side with your wife because so, you're I'll stand in the middle. Dad, what? 
just think of her when she's having one of her strops, yeah? Anna, when she gets one of her strops! I'm going. <laughs> right, so here we are. Safety in the log cabin. So, anyway, not much happening here, as you probably know at the moment. I've still got loads of bits to refurbish. And I sprayed this... Um, swinging arm there from the Piaggio moped yesterday that's now sprayed black and is lovely and solid and as you can probably see there we've got a nice finish on that now compared to what it was that's actually looking great and that's now protected that was totally rusty if you remember rightly so I've done that one I've got the footrest bracket there which is uh we sandblasted in the last uh, vlog that I've done and that's now had a coat of etch primer exactly the same as the side stand that fixes onto it now. Again, these things were totally crudded up, as you remember rightly, and they're now waiting for their coat of black paint. We've done quite a lot this year, as I mentioned to you. We've uh, set Jimmy up in business. Plus, my time's been taken up. A lot of my time is going down and helping Jimmy out with little jobs and all that, and because he's, he's a one-man band, obviously, as you know, and um, when he's getting about three or four cars coming in, things need shoving about, and then I've had my own vehicle to work on down there, which is the Reliant Regal. Then we've also had the Piaggio moped. Then we've had um, like family commitments as well. We've got um, two lots of three grandchildren, which we look after on a regular basis as well, me and Sharon. So all in all, we've, we, you know, we do run a busy lifestyle. This sort of stuff I'm showing you and what, we get, what, I, what I'll get up to on YouTube is literally the tinkering about, which is what I want to do in my life. You know, <laughs> I see a good video on uh, Facebook the other day where someone drew a timeline of someone's life and at the beginning like from 0 to 16 years old you're basically a child and you don't know what you're doing you're told what to do you're you know you're, you're being prepared for the system and then from the age of 16 up to 65 that great big block of life is where you live most of your life it's supposed to be for that little bit at the other end which is the retirement bit which is only very small and that big bit of block in the middle you give away to someone else to control you and run you in, in the exchange for a wage, uh, a safe house, nice things to live comfortably. Well, that's all well and good. That seems like a pretty good trade-off. But in the world we've been living in recently, it's not a comfortable world. It's not a happy world. So the big block of your life can be pressured into unhappiness and being told what to do by people you don't respect. I had, I had to live quite a large block of my life like that being told what to do by idiots and stuff like that at work and having to commit to different time schedules where you're with people you work with rather than the people that you love, which is your family, where you want to be with them at that large time. Not only that, when you get home, you don't want to do anything because you spent so much time with these people at work that you sit down and you might have a tinker about as a hobby of a weekend. Your social life suffers at home. You don't see your kids because you want to go out and do your little bit of tinkering about. So I thought, well, I wanted to be tinkering about in my time at home with my family, and that's what I do. Some people like it, some people don't like watching the video. Some few people feel passionate that they need to write a negative comment down and then upset everybody else in the comment section. And I can't see the point in that personally. I don't tolerate ne negative comments on my channel. I, t I tolerate constructive comments because at the end of the day, all what I do is what's available to me around what I've got with my skill set. I'm lucky enough to possess a, a knowledge base of being able to reasonably work your way through something with maybe certain sets of instructions like a manual for example if you don't possess the information or I know how to search for information but when it comes to people who are so-called experts coming in for example like when, when I done my welding on my transit van must have been people who were welders coming in slaughtering me and saying that you know you can't weld that welding is absolutely rubbish blah 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 but as I say if you actually look that that is a learning set. I was, a, I was in my learning phase of welding when I started doing a transit van. And I was willing to show other people me learning in case they want to learn and things they could come up with. And the last thing you want, it's like going to school, getting something wrong, or going to, to learn off of your teachers, and then your teachers basically belittling you or whipping you down. And that's what society does do for some reason. I don't know why. Everyone's too full of their own self-importance. Well, I'm not. I like a laugh and a joke. And that's what this channel's about. As you know, we like to do everything on this channel with regards to showing you what I get up to during the day, what I used to do compared to how different my life is now to what it used to be. I used to work in the system, as I said, up until the age of 41. I had a, a, a career. It, it, I was told what to do. I spent so many hours, 12-hour day shifts for seven days a week. I've done that for years and years. 
living away with your family. And I thought to myself, that big block in the middle between 16 and 65, that's where you start living. I jumped out of it at 41. And here I am now, just had my birthday. I'm 54 years old now, and I've had the last 10 to 12 years free of the system, and I love it. And if I can inspire someone else to do the same, which I get good feedback off of people, that they love what I do and they like to do, they would love to do what I do, make it happen. There's your little gap there. In that 16 to 65 bracket, if you're not happy doing what you're doing, only you can change it. And that's what I did. And all I can do is try and promote and show people that I did it and what I do and what I get up to. Anyway, that's enough of that. That was what we've done this year. We've got more coming up next year as well. And hopefully you'll come along for the ride. You subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. And again, leave positive comments, leave constructive comments. You start swearing in the comment section, I'm just going to block you. It's as simple as that. No negativity on this channel. It is a family orientated channel. And lucky enough, I was in a position where you've got the community settings now, which is a new thing YouTube have introduced. And you can put polls out there. And I put a poll out there, asked the question, what people, what type of videos do people like looking at? Car videos, bike videos, uh, general videos, uh, daily vlogs, or all of them. And the majority of the people come back and they said they like all the videos I do. So I must be doing something right, even though it's restoration of record players, maybe I've done in the past, lawnmower videos, all these different things. Predominantly it was cars that come as, as the highest one out of the individual categories, but then I'll put a category down there for all your videos, all of my videos, and that got the highest hit. So I'll continue to do what I'm doing when I've got something to show you. It may be interesting to you, and if not, don't bother leaving a negative comment, just turn it off, don't watch the video. This is a family channel, and there's lots of youngsters as well who look at the comment section as well. And the last thing you want to see is swearing and abusive language in there. I won't tolerate that. I'll delete that straight away. So that anybody under the age of 18 or whatever, or any sort of sensitive person, won't get offended by them sort of comments. So 22nd of December, I'm going to go and edit this video. This will be my last Christmas message of 2017. I might do a video after Christmas, just to finish off painting these black bits here and maybe getting this casing sandblasted and ready for painting and a few other little uh, sundry bits here. And hopefully within the new year we'll be assembling that uh, Piaggio moped very, very shortly, getting the trot of van painted as I said earlier on and then moving on to some other projects. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Do hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video. And until then, Bye for now.